Hello friends, this video on alcohol, phenol and ether part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. I think the last uh, slide on the IUPAC name. Again here I'll ask you to pause for some time and try to solve on your own. If not, you can refer this. So this will be my first position because it is a ethoxy group. 2, 3, 4. So I have ethoxy group and methyl group, right? Ethoxy and methyl group attached to cyclohexane. So A, B, C, D, E, E comes first. So it will be one methoxy, one ethoxy, four, four dimethyl. This is cyclohexane, correct? Let's see this. This is pretty easy. I have a ethoxy group attached to a benzene, so it will be ethoxy benzene. So let's study the structures of alcohol venosity. Then before we start, I'll tell you the one thing. The normal angle for a tetrahedral is 109 degree. This is something which we know. We have learned this in the earlier classes. Tetrahedral. Right? So if you take the alcohol, the angle between this angle COH is 18.9, slightly less than 109 degree. Why? Because there are two lone pairs, right? So because this lone pair, this is there is a repulsion by this lone pair, and the angle is little less than 109 degree, right? The unshared lone pair of electron of oxygens will pull these OH and OC bond and the angle will be little less than 109 degree. This is the structure of methanol and this is how 3 degree structure of methanol. If you see, this is 108.9 degree. This is O and this is H. This is carbon and you have hydrogen here. This is the typical structure of alcohol. Correct? The angle is slightly less than tetrahedral angle. Why? Because of the repulsion by lone pair of oxygen, electrons of oxygen. Correct. So here the carbon is sp3 hybridized. You see this carbon? 1, 2, 3, 4 bond, sp3 hybridized. The next is phenol. Phenol, the angle is exactly 109 because there is an equal repulsion on both sides. So the angle is exactly as tetrahedral 109 degree. Correct. Now here also if you see this carbon is sp2 hybridized. 1, 2, 3. Now here one more thing if you see, since the carbon is sp2 hybridized, it is has more S character, it will try to attract oxygen more to water it will, thus the bond length, the CO bond length will decrease. Here we see, the CO bond length is 142 meter picometer, this is 136 picometer. Also one more reason why the CO bond length decrease here is, because it has partial double bond character, right? There's partial double bond character, so this bond length is less, this bond length is more, right? The CO bond length typical is 142 picometer. Here it is less. Why? Right? One reason is carbon is sp2 hybridized. It has more S characters. It try to attract oxygen to it's more. It, the binding is more, right? The binding is more because the more S characters, so the bond length is less. The other, the, the one more reason for the less, or one more explanation for the lesser bond length of CO in the case of phenol is it has partial double bond character. If you see the resonance structure, you'll see that it has partial double bond character. It is sp2 hybridized. This is the typical structure of phenol. These are all carbon here. The white ones are all hydrogens. And this is my oxygen. And this is exactly 109 degree. The next is my methoxy methane ether, making one ether. So here we see the bond angle is more actually. The bond angle is more than 109 degree. And if you see the bond length is almost same as methanol, 142, 142. Right? Because there is no partial double bond character here. Right? And why this angle is more? Because there are two bulky groups here, right? Since the bulky groups are there, they'll repel each other. Since this bulky group repel each other, the angle increases. Correct? 
there are two bulky groups here maybe alkoxy or uh, aryl group i don't know alkyl or aryl group so because of the bulky groups they repel each other and the angle increase correct so it, it is typically 109 since the uh, repulsion is there it becomes like this so this is the typical structure of my ether here i have oxygen here i have carbon here carbon here and hydrogen here or hydrogen or any alkyl or aryl group here let's take some more numerical now so we'll start with this this you see here this is my longest chain here and I can number one two three in this fashion one two three in this fashion but if I and number in this fashion I get I cover more methyls here I mean one two three four five I'll show you both ways first let's suppose I take this guy then I have 4, 2, 2 methyl. That is 4 plus 2 plus 2 methyl. And 3 alcohol. If I take this, then I have 4, sorry, 2, 4, 4, 3. 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus 3. Obviously, this is more, right? This is 13. And this is 11. So this will not take. We'll take this option. Correct. Now this is done. It's pretty easy now. Add, I have methyl and I have uh, methyl as a substituent here. So 1, 2, 3 methyls at 2, 2 and 4 positions. It is 2, 2, 4 trimethyl and elongation is 5, pentane at third I have all group, pentane free all. So really this also, the longest chain is this, or you can take this, all the same. Now I have to number, I can number in this fashion, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So in this case I get 2, 4 and 5, right? Position 2 plus 4 plus 5. If I number in this fashion, 1, 2, 3, then I'll get 3 plus 4, 5, 6. This is more actually, right? This is 13, this is 11. So I'll take this pattern only. Now if I take this passion, I have ethyl group at fifth position. So it is 5 ethyl. And then 4 at 2, I have alcohol. So I'll, I'll do that later. The, the longest in this 7, there is hept, heptane. And 2 and 4, I have. Or diol. So the way it works is OH is my primary. I'll write it later here. And apart from that, all the other substituent which I have in this case, the ethyl group, I'll write before. Let's try to name this compound. Again, this is my longest chain. I can number in any fashion because it doesn't matter, it's all symmetrical. One, two, three, four. So it will be butane, two, three, diol. Right? butane 2 3 diol why i'm writing this as last because this is my primary functional group let's take this here also this is the one and these are all my oh so i'll write at the last so it will be number it 1 2 3 so it will limit it probe propane 1 2 3 triol Correct. Right. Let's take this example. This is a phenyl group and I have a methyl group attached. This is one, this is two. So at two I have a methyl group attached, two methyl phenol. Right? This phenol was my primary thing. On this at two I have a methyl group attached. Same thing here. One, two, three, four. At fourth I have a methyl group attached for a phenol. So it will be four methyl. Phenol. Correct. Let's see this. Here also, this is a phenol, and in phenol, I have at one, two, three, four. Or the other option is one, two, three, four, five. 
टू फाइव इज वन ऑप्शन सॉरी इज ऑलवेज बी वन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव या टू फाइव यू कैन टेक दिस वेयर दिस इज ऑलवेज बी थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स टू फाइव और थ्री सिक्स टू ऑप्शन नंबर इन दिस फैशन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स थ्री सिक्स और टू फाइव टू फाइव इज बेटर देन थ्री सिक्स टू प्लस फाइव इज सेवन थ्री प्लस सिक्स नाइन सो आई टेक इट टू फाइव सो इट इज टू फाइव डाई मिथाइल एंड दिस इज फिनॉल टू फाइव डाई मिथाइल फिनॉल करेक्ट लेट्स टेक दिस दिस मै नंबर वन सो आई टू टेक इन नंबर दिस आई इन दिस फैशन और इन दिस फैशन विल बी ऑल सेम सो इट बी वन सिक्स सॉरी टू सिक्स डाई मिथाइल फिनॉल Because I two and six I have a methyl two six di methyl and the group is phenol. Let's see this. I think we have seen this example earlier. So this is my primary group, primary part because it has more carbon. Now in this at one position two and three at one position I have methoxy group attached. So it will be one methoxy. At two I have methyl group attached. टू मिथाइल मिथ इथ प्रो सो इट्स प्रोपेन करेक्ट इट्स टेक दिस दिस इज माई प्राइमरी हेयर सो एट बेन्जीन आई हैव अथॉक्सी ग्रुप अटैच सो इट इज इथॉक्सी बेन विल टेक दिस सी सिक्स एच फाइव एट ऑर्थो पोजिशन आई हैव एन Heptane attached. Right, this is an heptane attached at ortho. Uh, this is an an heptane attached. This is an ether actually. An heptane this side and C six uh, phenyl this side. So this is a longer chain. This is my primary one. Correct. Please note, this has seven. This has six carbon. This is my main. This is my primary primary part. Right. So this is the main one. So at one I have phenoxy group attached. So it will be one phenoxy, and then seven carbons. So it's heptane. Please note it is not one heptane or heptanoxy phenol. We should not take this as primary. This has to be primary because it has seven carbon. Let's take this. This is my primary four carbon. This is two carbon. So at One, two, three. Four. At two, I have ethoxy group attached. So we two ethoxy. This is butane. Eight two ethoxy butane. Thank you. Visit our website examfear dot com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials, and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.